Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the dry jet weight spinning systems. So in last lecture we have discussed about the weight spinning systems and dry spinning system. So how it is different from your dry and weight spinning system? So as we earlier we know that the solution spinning systems has the two basic types. One is your wet spinning system and dry spinning systems. These are the basic two types of your solution spinning systems. But how it is different? That is your dry jet wet spinning. So initially we will discuss that is dry spinning systems. So in dry spinning systems, the the polymer is dissolved into certain suitable solvent and is extruded into the coagulation bath containing the non-solvent or it could be your with the help of hot air in case of your dry spinning systems. So in both these systems the solvent has been removed whether it is could be your chemical bath systems or chemical means whether it is could be solvent has been evaporated by means of hot air. But in case of dry jet weight spinning systems, how it is different? So in this case, when polymer is extruded into the air, but eventually taken into the coagulation bath, that system we call as the dry jet weight spinning systems. As the name suggests that the spinning jet is in the dry state, unlike in the weight spinning systems. Because in wet spinning systems, that spin rate has been kept into the coagulation bath. So that we called as the wet spinning systems. So in this case, the spin rate has been kept in the state. So first we'll see the wet spinning systems. Here we can see that I will get to know that the same systems like dose we first we need to prepare this dope solution by dissolving the polymers with the help of suitable solvent then metering pump has been there they will force your polymeric fluid or polymer solution to the metering pump and to the filter unit and then the filter unit to the spin rate and in this coagulation bar your chemical bath or either terms we call it called as chemical bath the polymers which has been extruded and during this process whatever the solvent which has been used for dissolution of your polymer that has been removed and then it is taken for the further addition in dry spin Next systems see, what is what the spin like filament has been taken from your spin rate and in this case hot air or hot gas has been transferred for the solidification of air filament at the same time this hot air has been used for the evaporation of your solvent the solvent has been evaporated by hot means so we have seen two systems that is your wet spinning system and dry spinning system in wet spinning the spin rate has been kept into the coagulation bath and in coagulation bath, whatever the solvent has been used, that has been dissolved or that has been removed by means of chemical. And in dry spinning systems, that has been evaporated by means of hot air. So you can see here in dry jet wet spinning systems, the spin rate is just kept into the dry state. Or dry and below that there is a coagulation path is there so this air gap which has been maintained between the spin rate and the coagulation bath so that air gap also depend upon the which type of fiber we are producing whether it is lyocell fiber whether it could be it says acrylic one there are different types of fibers which can be produced by the dry jet weight spinning systems so what is the basic for the fundamental difference between this dry jet weight spinning system or the weight spinning system is that 
this air gap has been maintained and that will ultimately depend upon the which type of fiber we are producing so this air gap how it is advantage how we will change the morphology of your structure of your so this is the just modification of your wet spinning systems where the spindle is just kept outside the surface of your coagulation path so in this case the fiber is extruded into the air or gaseous environment and then it is pulled up inside the coagulation bath so mostly this bath are deep to allow the vertical movement and coagulation of your extruded fibers before it touching to the guide rod and this gap between the spindle and the coagulation bath surface that we called as the air gap that will vary tip with the type of polymer and the technology being used so in case of acrylic spinning this gap may be in the few millimeter size the air gap should may be few millimeter in case of lyosol spinning it may be several centimeter oh. that will ultimately depend upon your polymer and the technology which we are being used so this small difference in the arrangement of your spin rate that will bring the significant change in the spinning performance and the ultimate structure of your fiber so see so this ultimately emphasizes both the benefits of your dry spinning system and the wet spinning systems unlike dry spinning systems this air gap in the dry jet wet spinning is very too small to allow any appreciable removal of your solvent before it, it is prototype fiber has been entered into the coagulation path so the air gap is very small in case of dry jet wet spinning systems that will allow any appreciable amount of solvent should be removed before that prototype fiber has been into enter into the coagulation path however it is much more sufficient to bring these changes on the surface of your extruded filament that that small air gap that will ultimately brings the change in the surface of your extruded filament so it has been hypothesized that in case of pan spinning the kind of dense cuticles is formed on the extruded fibers as they pass through this air gap so this in turn changes the diffusion dynamics of the solvent and non solvent during the coagulation of your fiber. so what are the basic benefits of your dry jet wet spinning systems first is your high speed spinning can be possible high concentration of your dough high degree of jet stretch ratio so this three components that is high speed high concentration of your dough high degree of jet stretch that all these benefits has been derived because of the use of dry jet and the air gap while the last benefit that is controlling of your coagulation kinematics by monitoring the coagulation bath parameter that is that has been derived from the use of wet coagulation systems so the first initial three benefits has been derived from derived from use of dry jet and the air gap systems and the last one has been derived from the use of wet coagulation so before that how the polymer dope preparation has been taken place that is the for that is basically for all this spinning system whether it is dry jet dry, dry spinning system or wet spinning systems or that could be your dry jet wet spinning systems this is because the dope preparation is one of the most important uh, process in the preparation of your filament so in dope preparation initially we know that the dope has been prepared by dissolving your polymer with the salt so the main condition during the dissolution of your polymer in the with the help of solvent is that the polymer should not polymer particle should not swell and it will not be aggregate to form the lumps lump formations should not be there during the dissolution of your polymer with the solvent that should need to be taken care 
while the preparation of your dough. So this ultimately because the agglomeration or the lump formation will create the difficulty in your processing. Therefore, the different strategies are employed. We'll see what are the different strategies has been used to enable this dissolution of your proper dissolution of your high molecular weight polymers. Different strategies has been used for the dissolution of polymers. The first one is your that dissolving that polymer at the low temperature or in other terms we can say that the dispersing your polymer particles in solvent at low temperature because at low temperature the solvent power of your solvent is very low so that will ultimately allow the dispersion of your particle without sticking to each other because if the particles are sticking to each other they will form the agglomeration and that will form the lumps formations so then that that will not you will get the processing will difficulty and after that proper uh, like if you are you are doing this dispersion at low temperature the, there could be proper dispersion of your particles and the temperature like after that we have received that proper dispersion of your polymer particles then we need to increase that temperature slowly to increase the dissolution of your polymer particles so these are the first conditions or approach we need to taken care for the different types of polymers we need to process second approach it is the dispersing your polymer particles in solvent non solvent mixtures such as cellulose can be mixed into nmmo and water mixture that is solvent and non solvent mixture so in this conditions the solventing power of this solvent is again very low and the particles can be easily dispersed in the solvent medium without undergoing the swelling or agglomeration so therefore the dissolution is initiated under the under high agitations by the increasing the your solvating power of your solvent so the next strategy is your the polymer if you are modifying with the certain different systems like initially we need to modify that polymer in order to make it into soluble into certain other common solvent for example if you want to make this cellulosic fiber the alkaline cellulose is agitated that could like in viscose we have seen that the agitation process we need to be carried out with the cs2 to form the sodium cellulose agitated which could be soluble easily soluble in dilute nms solutions and can be easily spun by the weight spinning force. so thank you so much so in this lecture we have discussed different strategies for the dissolution of your polymer dope solutions and the dry jet weight spinning systems what are their benefits of your dry jet weight spinning systems and how it is different from the dry spinning and weight spinning and how it is benefited for the certain different structural changes in your material so thank you so much for your kind attention and we will stay tuned for the next video thank till that thank you so much okay goodbye